You will never believe who is here today. Candace Hayden, the girl from the Chet Faker video. Gold. Gold. Look it up right now. The video is insane. Talk is cheap, my darling. I love my new red. I think I was going through Vimeo or something. I came across this video called Gold by an artist named Chet Faker. Now, I'd never heard of Chet Faker before. Play this video and I am just locked in on the concept. The main girl in the middle was absolutely incredible. I might as well be in our garden. I said, uh, I smell in the air is a dripping rose. Candace owns a company called LA Roller Girls. She still does music videos, still does commercials. Again, if you've seen anything with somebody roller skating in it, a girl, 90% chance it's Candace. We finally met at the studio. So we had a great meeting. She came back two days after that so that we could go do some test shots of her roller skating. So what I'm gonna show you is our first meeting. What I do love about this show is that I get to show the evolution of projects that I put together here is episode 20, the girl from the Chet Faker video. Uh, so I am born and raised in Southern California and I grew up between, spent half of my time in the city of Orange and in Corona. I actually got like into skating when I was about six years old. The girls um, that are together were the LA Roller Girls and we're in an entertainment company which is uh, not something you see uh, very frequently if ever like a roller skating only entertainment company. So we source, we train roller girls for entertainment jobs, events. All of us have a background in competitive roller skating so we were all world level skaters. Like one of my partners, she's a four time world champion. Like she's so legit, it's crazy. Myself and my other partners, we've, we're all world level skaters as well. So. Basically, we're just taking our training and transforming it into a way to like create more of a future since roller skating really stops at world. We're trying to make uh, a way for roller skaters to earn a living post-retirement or after your competitive career might be over or you just don't have anywhere else to go with it. Or, you know, we also work with recreational skaters and people of different backgrounds, so it's really exciting to kind of see this take off for us and get people work, you know. You can check out our Instagram at LA Roller Girls. We are also getting um, our YouTube channel set up and then we have our website, LARollerGirls.com. Oh my gosh, okay, so the booking was really funny. Um, I actually had no way to make it to the audition. There was an audition and I was like, ah, I don't know if I really wanna go out there because I live far away out in Corona. So um, it was kind of a, a long drive. And, Two other of my really close um, girlfriends, um, also involved in LA Roller Girls, they went to the audition, they booked it, and were like, oh my gosh, Candace, we told them about you, they're looking for another girl, can you just get here right now? I'm like, I can get there, but I don't even have my roller skates, they're like locked up in the skating rink, because I'm a skating teacher, I have no access to skates, they're like, just come, we'll find skates for you, it's good, we need you, we told them so how good you are, I'm like, okay, I'm cool. And it's the other two girls that are in the videos. A physical kiss is nothing without it And you close your eyes to see what it's done So like I totally owe them everything because this was something I was a project that I was kind of like I don't know who this guy is. It's a Tuesday. I end up going there and the choreographer is just mind-blowing. They, they're already working. Like I walked into a rehearsal basically. I, I guess I skipped the audition and went right into rehearsal. I'm wearing some random pe pe person's skates, but we're figuring it out. We ended up nailing down the choreography, Ryan Heffington, who is like insane. He's doing all of Sia's videos. Like he's so just on the top, topest level at the moment. So they told us it was a one shot and that it was gonna be fully choreographed. And so we had choreography from the start, like the first note to the very end. It was a full, complete three and a half minutes of choreography we had to learn. We had one rehearsal that day and then it was actually shooting like the next night. 
So we had to come back the next day, rehearse all day long, uh, a skating rink at um, Skateland in Northridge. Uh, the girl who's in it with me, Appaloosa, her parents own that rink. She's like, yeah, we can just use the rink. We went in there, nailed the choreography all night long, basically, and then the following evening we had to shoot it. It was like a highway somewhere in near Palmdale. I, I don't know, like off the 14 somewhere. Middle of the night and it was like the main highway goes up here and this was like kind of an, another access road, I think is what it is. Right. And they just, you know, they, they blocked us off and everything so it was safe. Was, the, was that actually a road that went downhill? Yes, so there was definitely an upside and a downside. And we really didn't have a whole lot of rehearsals on the road before it was shooting time. It right. was like, we got there, got in hair and makeup, and then and was like, all right, let's go. And we shot basically from sun down to sun up. Like it was nonstop. And the hardest thing about it was what you mentioned, like it was downhill on one side, uphill on the other and controlling your speed because the way they wanted to shoot it was we were coming out of the darkness in certain areas and the choreography would bring us there and then part of the, the choreography takes you back a little bit you know and so at that point we would fall maybe back into the darkness for a second and then be coming back through and and it was it was beautifully choreographed to look the way it actually looks yeah. you know to have those light pockets and stuff happen right. so for us what was difficult was like all right we started and I'm in complete darkness the girls were even further back they could hardly see anything yeah. so they have me come up and by a certain cue of the music I need to be the right distance so where they can see me, but I'm not right up into camera. Another one, another you. It's gotta be love said it. And then I'm hauling ass to get close enough to where I'm in the light where they want me. And by then I've just like skated my ass sorry right. if I'm cussing but skated my ass off I've got all this speed up and now I have to be pretty and like not run into the the truck you know right. so I'm like trying and there's a couple of places where you can see me slow down but I know I'm being filmed everything right. I'm doing is like so I'm trying to slow yeah. down but not make it so you can see me so keeping the choreography integrity of the choreography and then keeping it to speed and staying within the lighting that was the hardest thing and that took all day all night the cameras were rigged on the back of a truck. I don't know, someone in the back of the truck and then we had the choreographer in there calling out when stuff was happening. Yeah. There was a, I just remember there was like a giant light on the bottom of the truck, like a huge panel. There was an overhead rig, so we got the overhead shot off of that. Yeah, it was like a, we did seamless the whole time. Like right. we had to go, all right girls, another take. And it was like the whole song. Yeah. And then turn around, reset, do it all the way now uphill. And it, we didn't wow. know what, what, takes were gonna come yeah. out well and you know get all of us had to get the choreography on point without the spacing issues it was yeah. it was a lot of work Too. yeah yeah he was he was there I mean for like maybe an hour of the time but wow. we didn't they did they shot his super fast I mean we had been going back and forth they may have even shot him while we went to lunch you gotta know I'm feeling love made it go I'll never love her another one Another you, it's gotta be Love said it. Wow. <laughs> we were on our lunch and then he does his bit and then that was pretty much it with him. It's so great getting that backstory because only people that have like maybe had a lunch break with you on set somewhere or like close friends would hear the story behind that video because again, I, my jaw dropped watching this video. Oh. I was just like this it's absolutely how did they shoot this it's it's it was absolutely beautiful. insane the director um hero mirai and his whole team oh my gosh i follow that like their, everything he touches is like that conceptually just on another level we were really lucky like i said for an audition that i was like not really that interested in going it's one of the most incredible projects i mean obviously it's huge and it's just beautiful like to be a part of it i feel so grateful candace thank you so much 2017 is the year of Candace. <laughs> Again, is on my porch right now. You will never, ever <laughs> believe it. You'll never believe it unless I made this video. Thanks, Candace. Of course. Thanks, Chad. I'll see you on Friday. We're going to do some test shots.